Let's talk about the history of a smart home. Because a lot of people think this is a very new invention. Like, oh my God, we're like moving so far in technology that people are now like, you know, turning on their oven, like from their phone. Well, the crazy part is this isn't new. Smart home technology has been around for a long time. All the way back in the early 1960s, a lot of techies and hobbyists started tinkering with their different devices in their homes and started building a little bit of smart home technology. And it was really just kind of a hobbyist kind of a thing. But then one major company caught on to the trend and started building smart home devices, appliances, all the way back in the early 1960s. And that was General Electric. So GE really was early into the space. But the problem was back then, it was so expensive to do this. The technology wasn't there yet. And there wasn't enough people willing to pay for it. So it kind of died out. So all the way from the 1960s to the 80s, really nobody was doing smart homes other than just people tinkering around. Then from 1980s until pretty recently, until about 2015, it was still just something for the rich. I'm sure you've heard stories about people like Bill Gates, who has an entire home was a smart home and customized to every visitor. The, the pings in the walls would change all the way back in the 1990s. But again, it was still very expensive and not many people were really going in on smart homes except for the super rich. But over the last couple of years, that's absolutely changed. And the major reason is, remember I talked about those little IOT, the little chips and sensors inside of things? Well, they used to be pretty expensive, but the cost of these little sensors has dropped so low to a fraction of a penny, they're now being built into everything. And that's really enabling things like smart home technology, devices that talk to each other to become so much easier to do when you can put a sensor in there for a fraction of a penny. And to give you an idea, just how much smart home devices and IoT has exploded over the last couple of years. In 2015, there were 15.4 billion IoT devices on our planet. In 2017, only two years later, it jumped up to 50 billion, so over a threefold increase. And by 2020, which is literally next year, that's going to increase to 200 billion. So we've gone from 15 billion in 2015 to 200 billion just within a five year span. And it's not just they're building them into everything. It's really being built into everything in our manufacturing process. 60% of all global manufacturers now use analytics recorded from these little IOT sensors. And when you look at it from a dollars and cents standpoint, in 2016, $737 billion was spent globally on IoT chips and devices. By 2021, which is only two years away, that's expected to increase to $6 trillion. And by 2030, I know this is a little bit further down the road, but by 2030, they're expecting that to grow to $15 trillion. And to put that in perspective, that's the, the equivalent of the entire China, uh, economy of China the largest economy in the world. I mean, basically neck and neck with America. So what you're seeing is this is where all the money is going is into all these little chips and centers and devices relaying data information back to manufacturers. But the little sensors were what really started making things happen. But there was one thing that just exploded it and made it where now smart home technology is mainstream. And that is the smart home speakers. It really started with the Amazon Echo Dot and the Amazon Echo Speakers, but Google Home have a, has been growing consistently as well. The In 2017, the number one selling product through the entire holiday season was the Amazon Echoes, and Google Homes were in number five. And in 2018, that situation copied itself again, and we're now, it actually was even higher than what they were expecting, it's now in over 50% of homes now have either an Amazon Echo or Google Home Speaker. And these little speakers have just made it so much more fun and easy to set up smart home technology. The speaker is what talks to your lights and talks to your TV and all the other devices in the home. So they've really just kind of greased the wheels and made it doable to have a smart home. Whereas in the past, you had to be somewhat geeky.